In this video, we're going to talk about how to create a singleton of an object. And in our case, we're going to create a singleton of a user object. So before we write the code in main activity, I want to uh, take a look at this user client class. So notice that it extends application. This is one way you can create a singleton of an object, meaning uh, an instance of an object. So this is perfect for our application because we only have a single user that can be uh, logged in or authenticated at any given time. And each user has specific user details, which you could go to Firestore, go to the users collection, and you could get those specific user details. The point of it is that they're unique and they don't change very often. So it's, it's, a, it's a good way to keep track of the user details so that you don't have to make a bunch of queries to Firestore uh, every time you open a new activity or something. And creating a user client class is actually very simple. You just have a user object, you set it to null, and you have a get and a set method. That's it. Um, so it's null originally, and you need to set it uh, at basically as soon as the user is authenticated. That would be ideal. And if you look into login activity, that's actually exactly what happens. So if we scroll down here, we can see that the user client is set right here uh, after everything is authenticated. So that's where it would be set. You just go user client, get application context, and then set the user using the set user method which is this method right here. And then, and then that client can be accessed from any application context, any activity, any fragment. All you would need to do is go, um, I'll just copy that line. If you wanted to get the user object, I could just do this. User, user equals, uh, get the client and get the user. Uh, that's telling me it's already defined, so I'll just say some user. And that would give you a reference to the user object and Basically, it's, it's just a way to save time. That's all it is. So um, that's that's kind of that explanation. Uh, something you need to know about the client is that it needs to be declared in the manifest. So you can see that inside the application tag of the manifest, we have an attribute that's named user client. So just keep that in mind, that needs to be added to the manifest. So I uh, actually shouldn't have uh, closed login activity. So login activity is one place you could set the client, but probably a better place is actually right here in get user details because we know that this method is going to be called as soon as all the permissions are accepted, as soon as kind of the ball gets rolling for the application. Uh, so as soon as all the permissions are accepted, that's when they're able to use the application. So kind of right here is actually the ideal place to set the user object. So that's what I think we should do. So go user client, get application, user client, get application context, and then set user and then pass that user object. And that's where we're going to set it from now on. So I'm actually going to, let's see, what can I, so we don't even need, so we don't need, that way we don't even need any of this code. I can comment out all of that. It's not needed because I know that the user client is going to get set here. And the reason I'm doing this might not be like super apparent right now, but if you take a look at kind of some of the other activities, like maybe chat room activity and search for user client. You can see right here, here's an example of us getting it. So right here, I would have had to make a query to Firestore just to get the user details, but I didn't have to because I have those details already saved in the user client. And it's just a, it's just a more convenient way to do things. So I thought I would uh, include it in this application uh, just to kind of uh, show you how it's done in case you didn't know. Also notice that I've made some changes since our last video. Uh, at the end of the last video, I just kind of had some, I had some pseudo code down here, uh, but now I have if the location is null, we want to instantiate it, get the details, set the client, get the last known location. If it is not null, that means we've already done that, we've already got the user details. So at that point, we can just go ahead and get the last known location. So that's it for this video, just a short one talking about creating an instance or a singleton of an object. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna work on retrieving the GPS coordinates of the other users that are in a chat room. So if we looked at Firestore here, and we go into a chat room and you'll notice that there's another collection in each chat room named user list. And inside the user list is a list of all the users that have joined that chat room. So in order to add markers to the map, we need to be able to retrieve the locations of these users. So basically we need to retrieve the user IDs of the users in the user list and then use that to query the user locations list and retrieve all the GPS coordinates. So that's what we're gonna work on in the next video.